Yeah, thanks, Erica. Uh, look, uh, you know, just to reflect back on Atlanta, obviously a, a really strong defensive performance from the team. Uh, also, Andre uh, stepping up in a big way uh, to earn an important point. Uh, look, we're disappointed not to take all three because we know the, the stakes of the game in the, these final uh, three matches, um, chasing LAFC now. Um, but overall, uh, still, I, I think, an important point that will go a long way. Um, you know, our, our goal moving forward now is to, to go after the, the Charlotte game uh, and, and go after the Toronto game at home and, and put as much pressure on L.A. as possible. Uh, you know, every point uh, is, is critical at this stage of the year uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, so still our, our goal now is to win the Eastern Conference uh, to secure that. Um, we've clinched Champions League, which was a, a big goal. Uh, and now to finish the right way and, and, like I said, possibly lift a trophy and put pressure on LAFC is, is something that uh, we're taking very seriously. Obviously, a unique week now of, of preparation. Uh, we have guys away with the national team. We have a, a Union 2 playoff game that, that lands on the same day that we play an exhibition against Pachuca. Um, our teams, both the Union 2 and, and my team, will be very thin. Um, I give uh, Marlon uh, a lot of credit for the entire season just navigating um, what's never never an easy thing to get in the playoffs is a great accomplishment for Union too. Um, you know you have players coming in and out at all times, and you have to be on your toes and, and make things work. Uh, and this is another instance uh, where we're making things work uh, this week. I think each team has one or two subs on the bench, which is always risky and challenging. But um, you know it's still a great exhibition and a great uh, opportunity for our guys uh, to show that maybe haven't gotten a ton of minutes. Uh, and obviously the group that will go up to Canada, um, an issue that made it even trickier, you know, with guys with uh, different visa issues and, and, and who's eligible and who's not eligible. It's been uh, quite a week, but uh, we'll put two strong teams out there uh, to make our, our fans proud. Um, and again, it's been a week of, of preparation and trying to get a little bit better uh, as we go into the final stretch of the season. Yeah. What you guys wanted points out of this game. I wonder uh, if you've had time to reflect on kind of giving up control in the Porter Shield race and what that felt like after in retrospect. Yeah, look, every game is, is tough. Um, you know, every point is, is, is challenging to get. Uh, so I think every team can go back. I'm sure Atlanta could do the same thing. If, if this result would have went this way, we'd have more points. We'd be in a better opportunity. I, I believe the 34 games tell uh, the truth. Uh, I still believe that this has been not just statistically uh, our best season when you talk about wins, goals against, goals scored, uh, you know, point total, you know, record setting year, uh, regardless of how the last couple games go. Um, and you think of how the young guys have, have developed and done really well with our national team. So if you take the big picture of the year, I think it's been the union's uh, biggest year as a club. Uh, but yeah, we, we still felt like we dropped important points. Um, that hurts. So um, having said that, I, I told the guys before the game and we talked about it openly and we've talked about it openly all year, the hardest thing to do is to end another team season because these guys are professionals. Uh, they're going to come with everything, even though it hasn't been a great season for Atlanta. Uh, they're going to try to finish it the right way, sneak in the playoffs, and they're capable of beating anybody, as, as we all know. Uh, so uh, similar with Charlotte now. You know, I don't know if mathematically if we have a chance to end their season, but it's not going to be easy because they're going to put everything. They have hope and fight. Uh, so these games become tricky. Guys are playing for jobs for next year, whatever it might be. Uh, so it's going to be a highly motivated team that – uh, to be honest, for an expansion team, has done really well this year. So uh, that cha that challenge will be there for us. Um, it did hurt, you know, to reflect back. But if you if you're honest and you're open, like we are as a club and as a staff, um, that was actually a good point. You know, sometimes you you play really really well and you have a tie and, and you feel like you know it hurts. Um, but this game, uh, Atlanta took it to us quite a bit, um, and then I think that we survived on the road. Uh, Andre made some big saves, like I said, uh, and, and we stuck, snuck a point out of it. So uh, there's good ties, there's bad ties. I think that falls in the category still of a, a positive one because we weren't at our best, we weren't at our sharpest, and we're not happy with that. Um, but it's an opportunity now for two weeks to get better and, and try to, uh, again, put as much pressure on L.A. as possible. Jonathan? Thanks, Jim and Erica. You know, Jim, 
as regards Saturday, um, who do you think you are going to have? And are there some players who you hope to, you might name, who you hope to get some run to who you don't get to see a lot? Yeah, look, I think you'll see uh, you'll see Richard Odada get get big minutes. You'll see uh, Jesus Bueno get big minutes. Uh, you'll see uh, again. It came down to who's eligible and who's not in in some cases with with Canada in terms of visa and and who's eligible for the the MLS next playoffs, which you have to play X amount of minutes to be eligible on the roster. So Rafanella didn't hit those benchmarks, so he'll he'll probably get minutes with us. Uh, uh, you'll see a guy like. Uh, Nelson Pierre get a, get get a run with us. So um, yeah, it's it's all hands on deck. It's not perfect, guys. I have to say, uh, we want to stay healthy. We want to get through it. Push guys fitness wise, um, but also uh, not have any injuries. You know, because to be quite frank, we can't afford injuries because we don't have subs. So um, it's going to be that tight. So uh, I think if all our national team guys are here, this is a great exhibition, great timing. But then when the the Union 2 playoff game fell the way it did, being on the road in Toronto and all the variables that go with that. Um, it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, but again, like I said, we'll make the most of it and, and, and put a good product on the field. With Richard, who fans, you know, unless they've watched Union 2, haven't gotten to see yet. Yeah. And Nelson, who's obviously one of the big prospects in the academy. Now, yeah. What are your hopes for those two, and, and what do you think fans ought to know about them going forward? Yeah, the, it's important minutes for them. Uh, anytime we step on the field, and I'll, I'll say this for, for the Jacob Glessness who's going to start, for, for Kai Wagner who's going to start, um, it's a chance to stay in rhythm and, and get better. Um, but for the guys that are trying to you know, play their first game, I don't want to put pressure on him to, to try to do too much too early in the game. Just let the game come to you. Uh, you're here for a reason. You know, do the things like ball winning, like the good diagonals to start the attack um, that you're, you're good at at that number six position, the reason you were brought here. So... Uh, I, I, I'm excited for them. Uh, we'll get to learn a little bit about our team, which is always important. Uh, and again, you know, good performances in these types of games will tell us, you know, who we can rely on uh, in the playoffs, which is uh, also important. You know, uh, we will probably experiment just because of numbers and, and different things of, of what uh, what maybe Kai looks like at center back as well. You know, just because that could be something you go to in an emergency uh, if there is an injury to knock on wood, Jacob or, or Jack, you know. Um, so, again, we have to find out and learn different things from the team based on who is here. Uh, but Richard Odata will certainly get an opportunity uh, to show his skills in, in what sounds like going to be a pretty full stadium in a pressure game. Um, just confirmed, too, I asked uh, the good people at Pachuca uh, who will be missing guys as well with the national team, obviously. But um, if they would do a penalty kick shootout just to, if the game does end in a tie, um, just for that, you know, added element of preparation as we go into uh, elimination games down the stretch. So uh, there'll be a winner and a loser is, is a, a long-winded way of putting that one, Jonathan. <laughs> Look, uh, first, you know, first with Ali, I think you guys have heard me uh, talk about it. Ali's probably sick of, of all the quotes and, and just how much I love him as a, a player and as a person. Uh, he embodies everything we want at this club. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, ring of honor is, is, the, is the next guy uh, for sure. I think he still has shown that he's getting better and better even with uh, the years that are going by uh, with age, um, which is, is not usually the way most careers go. Um, still plays so many important minutes for us. Uh, such a leader on and off the field. Uh, a guy, to be honest, they should build a statue of at this club in its brief history uh, because he's been my coach in the locker room uh, and a guy that uh, I owe so much to. You know, again, and a great person and a friend. So uh, can't say enough good things about Ali Bedoya. Uh, without him, our success never comes at this club. I can say that with with 100% uh, certainty. You know, coaches come and go, uh, sporting directors can come and go, but if you don't have that leader in the locker room uh, and a player that embraces what the culture is, uh, embraces what Philadelphia is about, uh, it just doesn't work. So um, we owe everything to Ali, and, and he's, he's, he's been rewarded for that. Um, in my mind, no, there's never a chance that I would ever let him wear another jersey uh, in this league. 
Um, but you know how professional sports can be and the variable, th very, you know, the, the crazy different things that come into that. So there's, there's still another expansion draft coming up next year. So we'll still have these kind of crazy discussions and, and, and wild uh, decisions to make. But uh, no, it's great that Ali's back for another year. And like I said, I, I only want to see him wear the, the Philadelphia Union badge. Yeah, look, I, I'm confused a little bit, too. I, I think Cincy and Nashville played in the thing we were supposed to be a part of for our success last year. I, I, I can't – they get called different things uh, and, and rebranded. And, and um, I think all any time the, the U.S. teams and Mexican teams get together, uh, it's a good thing. I, I think that it brings out uh, good competition, good rivalries start to develop. Um, if we do meet them in, in Champions League down the road because they are such a great historic club, uh, that would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, look, again, anytime you can test yourself against international competition, it's a, a real bonus. 90 minutes is important for us and during this international break. Uh, do we wish we had a couple more bodies? Of course, you know, do I wish we could put some uh, young, young guys that are away with the national team out on the field for you guys to see? Of course, but uh, the timing is what it is and we have to make it work. Um, but yeah, it, it's a really strong opponent. Um, that'll put a, a good group on the field and, and will test us and, and keep us fit uh, as we go into the playoffs. We can hear you, Joe. progress now as the, the number three guy on, on your depth chart and, and again be able to show up something uh, a center back typically doesn't do for a, a free kick goal like that on the international stage. Yeah, he's become a big piece uh, you know, for that U20 group. Um, the staff there really trusts him, and he's been a, an anchor on their back line. It is unique to see a guy six foot four taking corner kicks and free kicks for sure, but uh, you know, Brandon's had that in his arsenal since he was a, a really young eight and nine year old, he could always uh, strike a ball. So um, yeah, happy for him to get a goal. Um, you know, c continues to get better and better as a young center back. Um, we'll get his reps with the first team down the road here. Um, just happen to have a couple good ones in front of him right now, uh, but really happy for, for Brandon to get a goal uh, with the national team and it's big. And yeah, it does look a little strange to see a big center back standing over the ball uh, as much as he does, but he does a great job with his restarts. Uh, Corey and Ali are still coming off of injury. They might be able to give us a couple minutes. Uh, you can start to add it up. Uh, Mikhail Ure was away for a funeral. He'll be back. He lands tonight, uh, so he will be back. Uh, he'll be one of the guys off the bench. Probably have Jack Elliott uh, off the bench. I'd like to split the center backs for 45 each. And then from there, you can piece together without me giving the, the full lineup. I think I gave you a good head start. But um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not a lot of guys. And there's no secrets. There's nothing we're hiding or there's no injuries or anything like that. But um, yeah, you have Ali. You know, it's, it comes a, a balancing act. Do we want to really risk him in this game? Uh, Corey's got a hamstring um, that he's dealing with that he got at the end of Atlanta. Uh, but other than that, you know, that's kind of kind of it. You asking about, who are you asking specifically about? Just throw out names, Jonathan. Who do you want to know? Uh, it was Michael because I knew he was Okay, gone. gotcha. Say it, so. Then just ask me if Michael is here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Jim. We'll see some of you out here on Saturday. All right, guys. Thank you.